The green anole, Anolis carolinensis, is Louisiana's most conspicuous lizard. Some people mistakenly call these animals chameleons, which they are not. But like the chameleon, the green anole can change colors from varying shades of green to brown and vice versa. These color changes occur in response to body temperature, stress, and activity. Green and old males have larger heads and attain larger sizes than their female counterparts. Also, green and old adult males have a much bigger dewlap or throat fan than females. To court females, males will expand their pinkish dewlaps and perform push-ups and head bobbing. Adult males are territorial and will also expand their dewlap to show their might to other males. If necessary, adult males will fight with other adult males over small territories and the rights to mate with several females. During these territorial displays and fights, males will often develop black patches on the head and exhibit raised skin beginning at their neck and going down a little ways on the top of their back. After mating, green and old females will lay one or two eggs in their first clutch, and then one at a time until about 10 eggs are laid each season. Eggs hatch in 30 to 45 days, and hatchlings are on their own, and will mature into adults in less than a year. The brown anole, Anolis sagrii, is an exotic species and a relatively recent introduction into the Louisiana herpetofauna. They are native to the Caribbean, but likely made their way to Louisiana from established populations in Florida as stowaways on nursery plants and materials. Unlike their green anole cousins, brown anoles do not change colors and are always some shade of brown. The male brown anole dewlap is orange to red and outlined in yellow. The brown anole's range is expanding in Louisiana, especially around disturbed metropolitan areas. Brown anoles are more ground-dwelling and aggressive than green anoles. Therefore, if there are ample vertical habitats available, brown anoles will relegate the green anoles to higher perches and the two species may be able to coexist. Otherwise, you may eventually only see brown anoles where green anoles were once abundant. Green anoles are great climbers due to subdigital pads, which consist of laterally expanded scales called lamellae, which are covered with modified scales called seedy. These structures help them cling to even smooth vertical structures. Green anoles are generalist predators of all sorts of arthropods, whereas larger reptiles and birds are likely the most important predators upon them. Anoles do not make good pets, especially for young and are inexperienced keepers. Sit down and simply observe them in your yards. They put on quite an amazing show, and you may just get hooked at watching their antics.